suspension types. In the olden days, prostheses were held on with leather straps and belts. While these are still options, modern technology has allowed far more secure suspension options. Options are good, and these are some of the most common designs. Pin lock systems, either with transfemoral or transtibial. The pin lock is screwed into the distal end of the liner and secured firmly. There's a lock in the bottom of the socket that the pin ratchets into. To release the liner from the socket, a pin is compressed, held in, and the socket and limb are removed from the prosthetic socket. Lanyard strap suspension, either transfemoral or transtibial. While utilizing the same type of gel liner, locking type, there is a strap that is screwed into the bottom of the liner. The limb is placed in the liner, then into the prosthetic socket. The strap exits a hole in the socket, is fed through a buckle or chafe, and is secured back onto itself utilizing Velcro or other locking methods. Seal-in suction suspension. Some gel liners have a hyperbaric ring or securing ring to the outside of the liner. Utilize rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer to lubricate the ring and place your leg into the prosthetic socket. This will evacuate all the air out of the end of your prosthetic socket. To extract your limb from the prosthetic socket, compress the release valve and pull your leg out of the prosthetic socket. At times, you may need to continue to compress or hold in the one-way valve button on the side of the prosthetic socket. Suction with sleeve suspension primarily is utilized in a transtibial system, but also occasionally a transfemoral system. Place the cushion liner onto your leg and then step into the prosthetic socket. Then roll the outer suspension sleeve over the top of your prosthetic socket and onto the cushion gel liner. This will create a closed system and therefore passive vacuum in your prosthesis. To remove your leg, roll down the external suspension sleeve and pull your limb out of the prosthetic socket. Double wall socket for transfemoral amputations. Don your gel liner over your limb, then place your limb into the initial socket. Roll the external suspension sleeve on top of your initial gel liner. Place the entire setup into your second transfemoral socket. Then secure the inner socket with the bolt. To remove your leg from this type of system, release the pin or bolt, pull your limb out of the outer socket, reflect the external suspension sleeve, and remove your limb from the inner wall socket.